Hey you, this is Yasin from CodeBand and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a universal live reload server. So what exactly is this universal live reload server? Let's split up the things into two parts, the universal part and the live reload server. So starting with the live reload server, I'm gonna be explaining this by uh, considering a situation okay so, so suppose you're writing uh, some code you're building an application and you're writing some code so the usual procedure you'll write some code then you'll save the file now saving the file it depends like if you're using vs code or some most modern ids then there is a feature called auto saving so you might not have to manually save the file so that's okay the situation uh, is like you're writing code then the auto saving will automatically save the file then you'll go into the browser you'll refresh the browser you see the output this is the usual procedure so the first issue here was the auto saving feature i mean not the auto saving feature the um, saving uh, manually saving this stuff was the issue here but with the uh, auto saving feature it's solved okay now the second issue here is the browser reloading okay every, every time you uh, write the code then you need to go into the browser and refresh the browser that's an issue that's a kind of uh, repetitive task that you're doing now you guys might argue like uh, that's a usual or conventional method that we are following uh, it actually doesn't take much amount of time but what I can say you that uh, you know if we automate that particular step of uh, refreshing the browser you'll save a lot of time now um, in a nutshell you'll not feel like you saved a lot of time but if you're considering the whole uh, development project then a lot of time is saved and um, which will at the end increases your productivity so that particular thing is what we are going to be automating in this video the live uh, refreshing of browser okay you don't have to uh, refresh the browser every time you write some code so at the end what you'll get is you'll write some code you'll look into the browser for the output no saving and no reloading or maybe we can say like auto saving and auto browser reloading that's what we are going to be achieving uh, in this video now uh, the the first part the universal part what exactly is the universal stuff what i meant by that now that's very simple i have done a video the, my previous video was based on the same exact stuff like uh how to set up the live server in Django, so a Python-based backend framework. How, how do we implement the same exact feature in Django? So that video uh, in the comment section, I got like a couple of comments like, um, how do we actually implement the same exact thing in other uh, backend systems, other backend frameworks? So that's what is the universal stuff. It'll work for any sort of uh, frameworks that you're using, whether you're using Ruby on Rails or whether using Laravel, Django, Node Express, whatever it be, this particular trick will work for any of them. Okay, that's what I meant by the universal stuff. So yeah, with this being said, uh, let's let's uh, end this uh, talks and uh, let's actually uh, move to the implementation part. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So yeah, let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So I'm back in my um, development environment. So here you can see the VS Code editor. Now, in this particular video, I'm using VS Code editor, and uh, the solution that I'm going to be implementing is strongly biased towards the VS Code editor. Now, if you're using any sort of other IDEs, then you might uh, end up uh, searching for the same exact things that I'm going to be discussing in this video. I mean, well. Um, uh, install uh, some of the plugins extensions and stuff like that so you might have to search for the exact same things or somewhat the same things in other ids in case you are using other ids okay so yeah we'll start with the um, this stuff here vs code stuff here you can see this is a uh, node.js express application uh, just a pure piece of uh, uh, piece i have done from scratch uh, it doesn't have anything just the um just a simple drop here you can see the home uh, home route or the uh, relative i mean 
the the uh, absolute path here which uh, returns uh, which renders the home.ejs this particular page okay just a simple page you know you can see we have got a title we have got just the uh, hello world tag and that's it okay a very simple application just to demonstrate the whole per whole procedure okay so you know i've told you like this is universal it'll work for any sort of frameworks whether using not express or django laravel whatever it be it'll work fine okay Okay. so um, yeah now we we need to uh, we need to have two things uh, in order to work with the live server okay the first thing is you need to install an extension so just go into this extensions tab out here the last tab in this uh, tab bar or taskbar whatever it be so just click on that and you can see uh, you can just search for a live server out there now you can see the first one here by Ritwick day the first one live server this this exact this stuff okay i mean this live server extension by red big day just install that i have already installed that just install and don't forget to reload the whole uh, vs code okay after installing so after installing this i uh, know you need another thing called the live server web extension so this one the link for this one i'll put in the in the description section so you can just go go i mean just come to this um, particular extension uh, this is also again the same uh, by the same developer red big day you know the same exact thing uh, so yeah just install this extension too so i'll just click on add to chrome over here so i'll add to my chrome extensions and yeah it, it got added so i'll click on this one and live server web extension is now active okay so you can see that extension is being there now now the procedure is very simple you just need to go into your home.ejs or whatever page just go into there now you can see a go live in the um, the bottom bar here you can either click on that one or you can just right click on this particular page or any page and you can see open with live server or you can use this shortcut too okay so just click on open with live server or go live or the shortcut uh, just click on that and it'll automatically uh, gives you access to this development server being automatically generated okay port 5500 okay now you can see this one here now this is step one now the step two or the last step is just to um you know take your extension over here and but before that we, we just forget the most basic thing you just need to run your code okay so i'm just trying to um run my code i mean uh, run my development not express development server so just like that you can see um uh, i mean i have to go into uh, src i'll just quickly run that stuff so yeah it's running my development server is running now in in your case you might be using other, other frameworks the procedure might be different like if you're using django python manage.py run server whatever it be just start your development server and this is running on port uh, 3000 so i'll quickly show you that uh, stuff so uh flow port 3000 i mean i'll just quickly go into uh, this this stuff here port 3000 yeah you can see the hello world there so my node.js express is running on port 3000 and my live server uh, uh, extension is running on port 5500 now what do you want to do is just click on this live server web extension click on the live reload enable this one now the actual server address just give the actual server address which is nothing but the port uh, 3000 here just uh, copy that again you might want to do it again so just copy paste that uh, 3000 port there and the live server address it's uh, the address that you can see in this browser here 5500 port 5500 so just like that i mean this this particular url that i've shown you here okay so then just click on apply and this will exactly do the trick okay so it's complete now what you want to do is just refresh your um hello world i mean the uh, node.js express development program for the last time so i have, I have to refresh now uh, let me try to uh, edit something so by code band so what do you know you can see without uh, saving or without refreshing the browser you can see the output is being generated there i'm not going to refresh i have i haven't refreshed that okay so we'll um, quickly remove that and what do you know it just showed me it, it just we just need to write the code and see the output that's it that's the beauty okay so it's totally working now 
this will work for any sort of um, frameworks or systems like like i have mentioned in the title it's universal okay procedure is very much simple just need to um, type in the actual server address which is your um, i mean the uh, development server of your um, project okay node.js express or django whatever it be and the live server is always the same i mean except if you're using the sport so in order to uh, in order for that you just need to click on the button here or just open with live server and you'll get this 5500 which is that particular live server address and click on apply live reload is turned on and that's it you'll get the whole um, uh, auto uh, refresh browser feature okay so with that being said the, um, we are complete with the uh, implementation I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any doubts or any sort of suggestions please let me know in the comment section below and uh, um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have liked the video Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and that's it guys. That's it. And uh, thank you for watching We'll see you in the very next one